In this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate DataBlaze with your favorite apps using Zapier. Let's start with a quick demo so you can get an idea of what's possible. This is a form that I created in DataBlaze and shared publicly so that it can be accessed by anyone with the link. When someone fills in the form and clicks Submit, a new row is created in my linked DataBlaze table, which in turn triggers Zapier to send me an email with the contents of the newly created row. Now, let me show you how it's built so you can create your own. We're going to create a new Zap. Choose DataBlaze for the trigger and set row created as the event to watch. Next, I need to set up Zapier to communicate with DataBlaze. For this, we need to generate an API token in DataBlaze. This is my DataBlaze dashboard. And this is the space I want to use with Zapier. Generating an API token only takes a few seconds. And I can copy it to my clipboard by clicking this icon. Back in Zapier, I paste my API token and give it a name. Before we continue, here's a very important note. Always keep your API tokens secret. Do not share them with anyone. In fact, the API token you see me use in this demonstration was deleted before the video was even uploaded. Now, Zapier and DataBlaze can exchange information according to my instructions. For the next step, I need to tell Zapier which table to work with. This is done via the table ID, which is found in the URL of the table you want to use. You'll need the sequence of characters following the word table without the slashes. Let's copy it to the clipboard, paste it into Zapier, and click to test. For the action step, we're going to choose Gmail. As always, you'll need to verify your account and set up the various fields based on the results you want. Let's try it out. And here is the result in Gmail. Let me show you a couple of other examples to help fire up your imagination. A user sends me an email with some very positive comments. Good vibes are always welcome, so I'm going to save this message in a database table, which is perfect for keeping such records organized. I've set up Zapier to monitor my Gmail account. If I star an email, Zapier will take its contents and save them as a new row inside the specified database table. Now, let's say I'd like to use this message as a testimonial on the website. Of course, I would need the user's permission to do so. I could copy the email address from my table row and write an email to the user asking for permission, but there's a faster way. Once again, I've set up Zapier to monitor my database table and trigger an action whenever a row is modified. So, when I change this field, Zapier checks for the new status and if it matches my condition, an email is automatically sent to the user asking for the kind permission to use their comments publicly. Of course, we've barely scratched the surface with these examples. With so many apps to choose inside Zapier, the possibilities for automation are limited only by the imagination. But if you're looking for some inspiration or even ready-made templates, you should definitely check out the Blaze community and help site. 